Hello, I'm going to show you how you can vCarve any TrueType font in FreeCAD. It's a known problem that if the font isn't correctly made, you have a lot of difficulties when selecting the vCarve tool in the Path or Come workbench, and I will show you how to overcome those problems. Of course, there is always a chance you can downgrade and upgrade again the item, and after that, the vCarve operation will work okay, but most of the times it simply doesn't work. Why? Because when zooming in on the shape string, you can can actually see there are a lot of overlapping lines of a lot of faces that overlap each other and I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem. It involves two macros, I'm going to tell you where to get them from, they are absolutely free and you can download or copy and paste them to be able to recreate what I will do here today so you can actually vcarve any type of text shape or any other thing that cannot be vcarved using the standard FreeCAD tools due to different uh, face overlapping problems and so on. So let's get started. First of all I will delete this shape string and I will start from scratch. I'm in the draft workbench. I have a body, a simple rectangle padded. I will select the shape string or shape from text button. Here you can see the text. It's open source CNC of course. I will write it lowercase because the font that I'm going to use doesn't have the uppercase letters. I don't care about the values in the X, Y and Z fields. I will explain you after I close this window why I don't care. The height, let's leave it 10 millimeters the default and let's select the font file. I'm going for the Balay regular variable font. It's downloaded from Google fonts. I'll select open and then I'll click OK. You can actually see the text is placed somewhere at a certain angle and I want it on this face. After all we're going to carve it in a certain place on this piece of wood let's say or aluminum or whatever the easiest way is to map it to this face I have the shape string selected go to the map mode click on the three dots I already have the selecting button pressed and I just click on this face you can see it selected I will click OK and now it is mapped on this face of course I have to move it around I don't like where it is let me just recompute this but if I go to placement you will see that the values are grayed out why because since it is attached to a face I will have to modify the placement by going to the position in the attachment category and now I can change the X and the Y let's move it to the right and higher up it seems kind of centered the normal workflow would be to just go to the path workbench select the body and the shape string create a new job make sure they are selected here select the proper tool uh, vcarve this 60 degree pointy v bit set a horizontal and a vertical speed the spindle speed remove the default tool and then just click ok now if i open the job go to the model select the shape string click on the vcarve button and click on apply the path for vcarving should be there i would go to the cnc and everything should be absolutely great but if i take a closer look let me hide the shape string and the body you can see there are some parts missing the p and the two e's are missing why is that well mainly because of this overlapping here at the e and there's a tiny weird triangle created on the P. You can't actually modify a shape string, you can't edit it. Besides these little places where we have some kind of pockets in the faces, I don't know how to call them, you can see that there are a lot of overlapping faces which create doubled passes which might get some weird results. Here at the S there is also a problem, a missing place. The little round over the bottom of the S won't be milled. There are a lot of problems. How can I overcome them? Well, I've tried a lot of things, but one that I found to work on 99% of the cases is the following. Let's, let me just go to the job again and delete this operation. I'll edit the job and remove the shape string from the job because I won't be using the shape string to generate the path. And now I'll just select the shape string here, move to the draft workbench and click on the downgrade button. You can see the shape string has been transformed to a lot of faces. These faces still overlap. There are also the missing parts still there. There isn't a tool in FreeCAD to just click a button and all these faces just suddenly merge into each other or at least I wasn't able to find it. I found a few macros, I've taken parts from all of them and created my own macro which suits for this job. You can go to my Patreon page, you'll find the link in the description of the video. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to pay anything, just go there and download the macro and use it as you like it. Of course I would be very glad and it would help me a lot for you to subscribe so I can make more videos and more things for the FreeCAD path or come workbench, how it's 
called now i will just select all the faces that the downgrade created of course i can anytime click on upgrade but it actually won't do a great result because as you can see the faces are still separate so vicar still won't be able to do a good job i will just undo this and now i'll select all the faces go to macro and i have a macro called join faces the one that you can find on my patreon page click on execute and the first surprise is there is a problem wire is not closed the problem resides in this particular places where there are some weird stuff going on so what i have to do is inspect the text visually and look for tiny holes in the letters and so on first of all here is a tiny triangle in the second letter and how can i fill it there are a lot of ways to do it but what i found to be the most suitable is just go in the draft workbench go to snap and make sure the snap working plane is checked I will select the face of the letter, this will be my working plane and then I will select the polyline. Now I will go here, make sure there's a white dot which means that my line will start at this point and draw a random shape that covers the hole that I want to fill. Close the wire and now you can see there is a face that covers this hole. I will do the same for the other problems, another one is here at the E, I'll select the E letter, select the polyline, select the corner, draw a random shape making sure it covers the hole, I won't directly close the polyline, I will just go farther away to make sure there is no curve on this edge and there won't be any pieces left outside the next problem is at the s of course you can see here the intersection of these two faces leaves a hole so i'll do the same i will select any one of these faces since they are coplanar it's a planar letter i will just select this one and click on the polyline again start my line make sure i won't go out of the letter because there will be odd shapes and repeat the process to just fill this hole and the last problem is at this E it's the same as the first E I will repeat the same process click on the polyline start drawing and close the polyline here and now I have all the tiny holes covered but I still have the overlapping faces as you can see I will select all the faces and the wires that I've created if you click on the wires you will see that make face is set to true if it's not let's set the make face to false for the last wire you can see it won't actually have a face so make sure make face is set to true and now select all the wires and the faces that were created when downgrading the shape string now with all the faces selected i will go to macro and run the join faces macro execute now you can see i have a single shape here and if i zoom in you will see that all this shape is actually just one face of course when the letters are connected if they are not connected you can see that o and p are a single face E and S O R C is a different face and C and C is another face. But what this macro does and is the most important thing to get good V curve results is that it makes sure all the faces that are overlapping or are next to each other are actually merged into just one face. So now let's go back to our job, go to the general tab, click on edit and the 2D category I can find the shape that we've just created. I will click OK, close the job, but selecting the model shape and clicking on the vcarve button won't create any path it says engraving operation will produce no output because the job base object has no engravable element this is because when selecting the model shape it also selects the wire outside the faces and vcarve needs just faces i will have to select the faces by holding ctrl for this text it's pretty easy it's just three parts but if i had to select every letter it would be very complicated and if i clicked in the wrong place i would have to start the selection all over again so for this i also created a macro you can also find it on my patreon go there download it there's no charge you don't have to subscribe just click on download and that's all of course i would be glad and it would help me a lot if you would subscribe but you can simply go to my page and download the file you will find the link to the page in the description of this video so what does the second macro do well i select the shape here go to macro i have this macro select faces of object i will execute and you can see the selection changed from all those lines and faces to just the faces now i can click on the vcarve button and when i click apply you can see it, it will take some time and after it calculates the path let's make sure this time the vcarve will be created as it should okay so it created the vcarve path i will just close it and now i will hide the shape and 
set a top view. Now you can see that all the letters are engraved, are milled with a V carve. The round here, the round part of the S is milled. Let's make sure, looking from the front, let's set a orthographic view. And you can see that it takes into account the width of the letter. So this is the method that always gives me good results with a V carve operation. I can use almost any font after downgrading the shape string, just run the macro to merge the faces and most of the times it works okay for fonts like this that have overlapping lines you might have to fill those holes it's not a very difficult way to do it it's quick and always gives good results so thank you for watching don't forget to go and get the macros and use them to engrave to vcarve any type of text in freecut in just a couple of minutes thank you for watching and see you next time